everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another mail art video for simusystamp.com. Today I'm going to be creating a very easy, simple, minimal mail art design, and this is at your request. Um, after last month's very intense envelope, I'll link that up in the top corner if you want to check that out, I had a few requests for something more simple and approachable. So I'm going to be focusing on some stenciling and blending, and then a really fun treatment for the address. So I'm using four different ink colors from Simon, as well as the new tap, da tap dance stencil from Simon. So I put down the tonic easy clean mat on my surface just to protect it. And it also gives me a slick surface to do some ink blending from, which I find is the easiest way to do ink blending. Starting with the color fog, and I'm using a mini round blending tool just to blend in a little bit of that color right on the edges of this envelope. By the way, this envelope is from Simon as well. This is one of their thicker white envelopes. I will have all of the supplies that I use on today's envelope listed down below in the video description or at the blog post for this envelope. So after I kind of ink blended each of those edges, including the fold, I taped it down to my work surface and I'm going to put the stencil down and add some color. And I wanted to specifically have a really light gray on the edges so that when I add these other lighter shades on top, it's not going to compete too much. So I'm taping down the stencil just on the main portion of the envelope. I'm going to protect the, the area just past that fold with some uh, post-it tape. The next color I'm using is duckling and I'm going to bring it in from the bottom right corner and I'm using more intense color right at the corner and then I want it to sort of blend and fade when it comes to the center area of this envelope. You'll notice that in this tap, tap dance stencil that there's a blank area up in the top corner and I thought that was the perfect opportunity for where the poster stamps will go so that's what I thought would be really fun with this stencil in particular. I'm moving on to the catkin color and I'm going to bring that in from the left corner of the envelope kind of blend it over into that yellow shade get a good blend between the two colors and then I'm going to take my last color which is the color mint and I'm going to bring that in from the top and just bring that over into the center area of the envelope. So this stencil in particular leaves a lot of white space behind. That's why it's a great stencil for really quiet backgrounds or things that you want to be a little bit less busy, which is perfect for an envelope like this so I can put the address on top. I'm going to stencil the flap of the envelope. I just rotated the envelope, taped it down again, and did some more stenciling and ink blending using the same colors. So here's the basic background of the envelope complete. Now I'm going to work on the address. So I'm going to take a pencil and create some wavy lines that will give me a guideline for where to draw my letters. This is going to give a really kind of wonky and whimsical effect, but these guidelines give a little bit of structure for me while I'm writing the letters. This is a great way to get some really cool looking uh, lettering but not have it be too complicated or fussy. The, the pen I'm using today is from Pilot. This is their Pilot envelope addressing pen, and this is the extra fine version. If you've been watching these mail art videos from the very beginning, almost a year and a half ago, you know I love this pen. It's a great pen for addressing envelopes. Not only do you have a nice, uh, more on the thinner side line, but it's waterproof. So even if your envelope comes into contact with some moisture, whether that be snow or rain or just anything like that, the address will remain and it will be delivered to your recipient. So I really love this pen specifically for that reason. So I'm just finishing off the address here and a big thank you to Tracy for giving me permission to use her address on this envelope. Big thanks to Tracy. I used an eraser just to erase all those pencil lines and then I added my return address on the back and like last month and I think even the month before I just did my address in one line right across the bottom of the flap. I added some postage stamps to that top corner and I wanted to use postage stamps that really reflected the ink choices so I have kind of like a 
lime green shade on this first postage stamp. I have a black and white. And then I'm gonna bring in this more current postage stamp of two parakeets. I thought the green shades were just perfect to go with this envelope design. So that finishes the envelope for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this more simple and clean approach to an envelope design. I think you could definitely do this with a lot of other stencils out there. And don't be afraid to make a playful uh, address on your envelope. Thank you so much for watching today's envelope video. I'll be back very soon with another video. Mm -hmm.